Thanks so much for that, Meghna. And our nation wants to know today the top story that we'll be looking at is that is there going to be a huge impact as far as the Mandir push, which will power the campaign as far as the BJP is concerned ahead of 2024. Just after the Prime Minister's visit to Mathura, uh, where he visited the Krishna Janmumi yesterday, today, uh, Chief Minister of UP Yogi Adityanath has visited the Ram Janmabhumi. And in fact, the BJP has kept uh, the restoration of temples as a core part of its infrastructure push. Remember, whether we're talking about the Mahakal Corridor in Ujjain or we're talking about the Ram Temple in Ayodhya, whether we're talking about the development of the entire Kedarnath complex, all of these have been at the center of BJP's push as far as restoration of uh, uh, faith, as far as temples is concerned. Now we're looking at Yogi Adityanath who has visited the Ram Temple in Ayodhya. He's in fact taken stock of the progress of the development work over there and has even patted the back of engineers. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister, while in Mathura, has pushed for uh, Krishna Janmabhumi uh, development in coming years and has urged people to let go of the slave mentality and push for development of the Braj Bhumi and embracing of its culture. Listen in. Aaj kashi mein Vishwanath dham bhagya rup mein humare saamne hai. आज उज्जैन के महाकाल महालोक में दिव्यता के साथ साथ भव्यता के दर्शन हो रहे हैं आज केदार घाटी में केदारनाथ जी के दर्शन करके लाखों लोग धन्य हो रहे हैं और अब तो अयोध्या में भगवान श्री राम के मंदिर के लोकार्पण भी तिथि भी आ गई है मथुरा और ब्रज भी विकास की इसकी दौड़ में पीछे नहीं रहेंगे वो दिन दूर नहीं जब व्रत क्षेत्र में भी भगवान के दर्शन और भी दिव्यता के साथ होंगे इस क्षेत्र ने मुश्किल से मुश्किल समय में भी देश को संभाले रखा लेकिन जब देश आजाद हुआ तो जो महत्व इस पवित्र तीर्थ को मिलना चाहिए था दुर्भाग्य से वो नहीं हुआ जो लोग भारत को उसके अतीत से काटना चाहते थे जो लोग भारत की संस्कृति से उसकी आध्यात्मिक पहचान से विरक्त थे वो आजादी के बाद भी गुलामी की मानसिकता नहीं त्याग पाए उन्होंने ब्रज भूमि को भी विकास से वंचित रखा भाई और बहनों आज आजादी के अमृतकाल में पहली बार देश गुलामी की उस मानसिकता से बाहर आया है However, the opposition believes that the BJP is trying to focus on these issues only to focus on polarization rather than focusing on development and other issues of administration and governance. Jonogone Takadi Akta Mundir Kore Bhapti Tihas to Irikole Koi Dokina Shar Mundir Skywalk Amra Kore Dichi Jonogone Takata Takata Nitahaini. আমরা সরকার থেকে করেছি তারাপীঠ মন্দির করে দিয়েছি আমাদের সরকার থেকে করেছি কালীঘাট মন্দিরের ভেতরটা মুকেশরা চেয়েছিল ওদের দেওয়া হয়েছে কিন্তু বাইরে এটা 300 কোটি টাকা দিয়ে স্কাই ওয়াক আমরা করে দিচ্ছি ভগবান আপনি अंदर होता मन के अंदर होता किसी के दिखाने और पहुंचाने से भगवान नहीं मिलते तो ये सारी जो बातें हैं जो हमारे विपक्ष के लोगों का है वो तो उनके पास और दूसरा मुद्दा भी है भी नहीं और मंदिर मस्जिद करते हुए लोगों को और उनके ध्यान को भटकाना मुख उनका प्रमुख मुद्दों में से है रोजगार कैसे दें यह उनका विषय नहीं महंगाई कैसे घटाएंगे यह उनका विषय नहीं भारतीय जनता पार्टी का चुनावी एजेंडा रिलीजियस है आप रोजगार हो जाएं आपको रोटी खाने को न मिले सर्दियां आ गई हैं आप पे कपड़े ना हो सर्दियों में बच्चों के जूते ना हो या नौकरी नहीं है बिजली नहीं आ रही है सड़कों पे जानवर घूम रहे हैं 
अस्पतालों में दवाई और इलाज का इंतजाम नहीं है कैंसर जैसी बीमारी से गरीब बर्बाद हो रहा है उन्हें कोई परवाह नहीं है लेकिन उनका रिलीजियस एजेंडा रहे और रिलीजियस एजेंडा पे ही चुनाव लड़ते हैं मैं जनता से अपील करूंगा कि जो बुनियादी सवाल है उनका जवाब भारतीय जनता पार्टी उन समस्याओं का समाधान नहीं ढूंढ पाई है The BJP meanwhile says the prime minister not just promises but also delivers like he has delivered as far as the promise of laying the foundation for the Ram temple is concerned. Aaj Kedar Ghati mein Kedar Rajya ke darshan karke lakhon log dhanya ho rahe hain aur ab to Ayodhya mein Bhagwan Sri Ram ke mandir ke lopar kan bhi tithi bhi aa gayi hai. Mathura aur Braj bhi विकास की इसकी दौड़ में पीछे नहीं रहेंगे वो दीन दूर नहीं जब व्रत क्षेत्र में भी भगवान के दर्शन और भी दिव्यता के साथ होंगे कांग्रेस साथी को आजादी के तत्काल बाद अयोध्या में राम जन्मभूमि की समस्या का समाधान कर सकती थी लेकिन नहीं वो तो कहती थी राम और कृष्ण हुए ही नहीं आप थोड़ा सोचिए सनातन धर्मावलंबियों को इससे बड़ी गाली और क्या हो सकती है एक कांग्रेस पार्टी सत्तर साल तक राम मंदिर को अटका कर रखी मोदी जी ने 2019 में इसका शिलान्यास किया और 22 जनवरी 2024 को इसका प्राण प्रतिष्ठा होने वाला है तेलंगाना में भाजपा सरकार सभी को बारी बारी राम लल्ला का दर्शन फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट करा देगी गेस्ट ज्वाइनिंग स्पोक्सपर्सन बीजेपी अनुराग नायदो ऑर्थर इज विदर्स ऑल्सो विदर्स संजय झा ओथा आशुतोष मिश्रा सीनियर जर्नलिस्ट ऑल्सो ज्वाइनिंग ऑस ऑफ द ब्रॉडकास्ट लेट मी स्टार्ट विद यू फर्स्ट चारू प्रज्ञा यू हर्ड अखिलेश यादव दे एंड दिस इज प्री मच वॉट अदर ऑपोजिशन लीडर्स आर सेंग द बीजेपी इज रेजिंग दीज इशूज ओनली बिकॉज इट्स पोल सीजन एंड रादर देन फोकस ऑन developmental issues on health care on uh, you know on on uh, filling the stomachs really of uh, the citizens the focus instead on emotive issues only for votes is what they say your response to that charu prakash madam a very good evening to you just because bharatiya janata party is a party which does not leave behind dharma while we work for the development of this nation i think everybody in the opposition if i can use the millennial word they have fomo they start having a problem because we are able to connect to our roots effectively in a way which uh, brings india's glorious past and our culture on a global platform and at the same time make sure our country is on a fast track to rapid development we are the fastest growing economy in the world and it's happening for a reason see it's not just about giving back the lost glories of our uh, historical religious places it's also about giving an economic boom to these cities we know how kashi has transformed after the vishwanath dham was uh, inaugurated recently the corridor was made we know how in ayodhya everybody is clamoring to get um, a piece of land so they can start their business there so um, i'm sorry this is only a case of the opposition crying out uh, because they cannot do anything else also please tell me vishwakarma yojana was launched isn't that about Sanjay employment ja, i want sanjay ja to respond to that then? okay we have a limited oh, time debate okay. now charu so let me yeah. quickly take this across to sanjay sanjay ja i want you to respond to up this is something that the bjp believes in development along with not leaving behind the core of dharma that's what charu pragya is saying the opposition has not been able to deliver and that's why they're crying hoarse now your response sanjay ja Uh, I'll give you a short response Madhav Mr Narendra Modi has been the most disastrous prime minister in India's history the data on economics the data on the divided society the data on corruption the data on governance is out there for the world to see and let me just tell the BJP spokesperson and Mr Narendra Modi through your channel stop spreading fake news in India By the way, Madhav, do people know that there are over two million temples in India since two thousand one? Two million temples. I'm talking about Hindu god temples. So what is Narendra Modi lying for? You see, the man is so desperate 
you know he knows he's he's seeing the writing on the wall that no, defeat is mr mr ja you must you you will surely agree with me that the importance of these temples that we're talking about whether it's kashi vishwanath whether it's the ram temple whether it is the krishna janmabhoomi these are very very essential to the faith of hindus I, i'm sure you will also agree to that and therefore the bjp is saying that these are issues that have been vexed for very long for whatever reasons but they are being resolved now that's what the bjp is saying Madhav, let me tell you how duplicitous and absolutely immoral this party is. The verdict on Ayodhya took time. It was a complex historical case. We all know both sides had their arguments. The Supreme Court gave a verdict. Can you imagine this political party, intellectually defunct, morally compromised, is actually taking advantage of a Supreme Court verdict and trying to convert it into a political weapon? And uh, this is party is a disgrace. I mean, they should hang their heads in shame for believing that Indians can't see through the street. I want Anurag Naidu to respond to that. Anurag Naidu, it's all the, what has been done by the court. It is no credit goes to the BJP, says Sanjay Jha. Please respond to him. BJP also never took the credit of the court verdict. Let's be very honest about it, Madhav. You have mentioned about the statement of Akhilesh Yadav telling that there is a poverty, unemployment, everything. Madhav, you know what is the worst form of poverty? The worst form of poverty is spiritual poverty. Now, India's entire basis of civilization is is dependent on the spiritual ethos of this country. And what Mr. Sanjay Jha is speaking about the economic, the worst prime minister. You know what is the amount of uh, GDP per spending spend expenditure on healthcare? It is more than two percent, more than hundred hundred and five billion dollars is what India spends on uh, the central government spends on healthcare. Against what they have the central government has spent on the temple, I challenge my dear friend uh, Sanjay Jha to get me the data how much spending the central government has done on revamping of the temple, revamp. Of Ram Mandir in Ayodhya has been voluntarily by the donations collected all across the country. Institutions, people have donated, and that's why Ram Mandir is being formed. Ram Mandir is not from the central treasury. So let's be very honest. The Kashi corridor, Ujjain corridor, Somnath corridor, Kedarnath corridor, Adha. Ram Mandir corridor, Char Dham is a, such a such a tourism boost to the country. Char Dham Yatra, and not so also not forget. Prime Minister Modi is the first Prime Minister to inaugurate a temple in Abu Dhabi. Can you ever imagine there would be a temple in United Madhav Arab Emirates? So India has made it happen at least to support the spiritual needs of the people, millions of people who are staying in United Arab Emirates and the Gulf. We have a beautiful temple there. It doesn't start. There are going to be more temples. You go out to the west and take photos and selfies from the, the most modern churches there and post it on Instagram. Why don't you do the same with, with the beautiful quality okay. of Ujjain and Kanji? Madhav, a quick response. All right, I'm going to slip into a quick break. Ashutosh Mishra, I'm going to request you to stay on with us. I'm going to come back to all of you, ladies and gentlemen, in just a minute, slipping into a very quick break. Welcome back. We're debating the big Mandir push by the BJP. And let me go right across to Ashutosh Mishra. Ashutosh Mishra, for many years, decades perhaps, we've seen opposition leaders taunt the BJP, saying that Mandir will be made, but we will not tell the history. Does that criticism today, and perhaps it's a legitimate one earlier, but does that stand blunted today with what's happening? Ashutosh Mishra. Uh, that's the, what we are seeing is that uh, BJP is desperate, and that's why Modi is running from Ayodhya, Kashi, and Mathura to Kanvas, rather than talk about his own performance. I mean, coming to Ram, I mean, he talks about Ram. Let's remember that the greatest, one of the greatest Ram Bhaktas, Mahatma Gandhi, was killed by Godse, and his supporters, people like Pragya Singh Thakur, are still in BJP. They no, uh, the still have though? all these Godse gems. No, what's they the connection, Mr. Mishra? They, they what are, are you trying to say? Ram Does that mean what there should be no push what for Ram is... Temple? Yeah, I don't know what so you're saying. So, if you see, if you see historically, if you see historically, the the. I if you see formed, historically, the lost the glory of these temples the must were be restored. That's Rajiv all that Gandhi was in say. power, and it is the Narsimha Rao affidavit in Supreme Court, which is credited with Can Supreme Court please? giving a pro Ram Temple verdict. So BJP, and uh, you have to remember that Ad Adwani and all these people uh, during the case uh, when uh, were they were questioned, they said they had no role in the Babri Masjid being demolished. Vivade dhacha girane mein hamara koi haat nahi tha. These are people who are just there to use it. For, I mean, it's a matter of shame. Okay. They are talking about commercialization okay, of religion. Okay, can I just come in? And trying to no, pass Madhavi, it off as if they have resuscitated. The there was no Ram Janmabhoomi movement, according to you, Ashutosh Mishra. The number of there was no movement of Ram Janmabhoomi. It is a matter of shame. There was a Yirat Yatra across the Madhavi, country. 
Do you forget that, Mr. Mishra? Your culture. In fact, let me bring in Charu on that. Charu, Charu, one second, one by one, one by one. Charu, Pragya, you know whether it is Kamal Nath opening the locks of the Ram Temple, whether it's the Narasimha Rao government's role as far as uh, you know this entire controversy is concerned. Credit should be given to Congress. Says Ashutosh Mishra. Please respond to him. Yeah, Congress is actually just lining up to snatch credit for things. But let's let's come back uh, to the present. The present is that this is the same Congress, and I'm not talking about affidavit in Supreme Court, which in case of say a purani baat ho gaye. The most recent thing is Kapil Sibal says to the court that make sure the verdict does not come out before the 24 elections. Uh, sorry, the the uh, previous elections. What is this? Then we have the same Congress leaders who have never even bothered to visit any temple unless it during an election period and here mr mishra is kind of denying that bjp ever had anything to do with the movement of the car savers our entire party is built on the first that premise that we believe find, we believe that ram janmabhoomi needs to be restored ayodhya needs to have a ram temple you, you the birth of the party happened on this in the application of article 370 mr mishra you, you, you will again to have to fight today when you talk about caste census i'm we are going to continue so let me make a point i'm going to come back to you i'll come back to you also those let me make a point please finish now let's talk about the let's no 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 mr mishra no you do not speak over me and not over an issue like this ask us one by one please because we can't hear any of you both of you talk at the same time we can't hear either of you ashutosh i'm going to risk i'm going to come back to you for a response start to quickly make your point in 30 seconds my party was born on the premise of the abrogation of article 370 and making sure ram temple is built on ram janmabhoomi in ayodhya that's it and he's trying to say we have nothing to do with it it has taken so long to get to this point where the court has given a verdict in favor of the ram janmabhoomi uh, uh, the uh, the case so i am sorry now whatever you are trying to say here today is completely exposing you bhai aap itne bhagwan ke sachche bhakt hai to why have you not made more of an effort and okay i do not want to take away from the fact that मुस्लिम and uh, you see just now this uh, they be keep talking about gdp 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 narendra modi has extended the free ration scheme for 5 years and today your uh, channel has published a news that india is short of 24 lakh beds and this government modi will tomorrow go and say ayushman bharat they don't okay. they don't build hospitals well, they don't completely out of time ashutosh completely out of time i'll have to thank you as well as charu pragya sanjay jha and anurag naidu for joining us clearly this is going to be a very important issue as it does come in the midst of poll season but as it is also in the run up to lok sabha 2024 and of course uh, that pran pratishtha that we expect uh, in january as far as the ram temple in ayodhya is concerned what more will we see in terms of politics surrounding this issue we'll be joining you with more updates on the same for the moment slipping into a quick break